Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. This is part three of searching the Dalby database and today we're going to talk about city directory search. Now we've not talked about the Civil War or the census search but those are pretty straightforward and I think that you can navigate that pretty successfully on your own using the same search tips that we've talked about already. But the city search is interesting. Um, this is great, especially if what you're looking for is maybe you want to know who else lived in Grandma and Grandpa's house. Or maybe you have friends and you've been arguing about where exactly that business was at one point in time. So that's kind of fun. The city's directory search has all kinds of interesting information in it. Again, we're going to stick with the same Whipple name and we found 80 references and so on. It's important for you to note how is the street entered? Um, how is the city entered? All of that sort of information. That's going to be really important, but take a peek. The resources that they have indicate also what job they had. So in terms of family inf information, that's incredibly interesting to know exactly what's available. Let's go back to the city search. Let's say, for example, your grandpa owned a business and he was a blacksmith and you want to find out all of the blacksmiths that are around. There are over a thousand names that came through that worked at different people who worked in different blacksmiths. But take a peek at this also. As a city directory, what they've done is they've started and they've entered in all of the information in every city directory over time. So here we have Clarence Abbott. It's the same gentleman living at the same location, but you can see it's the date that's changing. This is really interesting. How long was, Cl and this is probably the same guy, Clem, maybe in, and in the 1880, he was listed as his own blacksmith. Um, and Clement, again, here we have all through, so 19, excuse me, 1907 is the last date. And perhaps that was when he died, or maybe he retired, or what have you. This can be really interesting search for maybe you want to see everybody who worked at the woolen mill. Um, and so you can, and again, we have all kinds of different names and so on. Clicking on the year will help us sort the woolen mill. And here's some interesting, the, there are different woolen manufacturers over the course of time. Again, with the city directory, Sometimes you have to pay attention to whether you need to enter in the information in the first or the last name. Um, first English Church, I'm not actually sure if it's going to be in the first or the last name. In this case, last name is where it's going to be entered in. But it, sometimes it helps to enter in that in the first name because there it is again. So sometimes you may have to actually do it in both cases. Rice County History preserving the past for future generations.